Hello, and welcome. I'm Zynder, and here we are playing the Resonant Rise mod pack. But, as you can see, I've got, uh... If you look down there at my bar, you'll realize that is from my texture pack. Granted, not everything, in fact, very few things, are updated for the mods. I keep tweaking with the water texture. I just can't get anywhere that I'm happy with. What is that? Is that barley? No, that's cattails. Uh, now, if you remember my 147, Minecraft 1.4.7, uh, Feed the Bee series, I made a mistake in my world gen on that that I didn't realize until 164, which is there's a... Uh, when you go in to select, like, large biomes and stuff, there's a biomes of plenty thing. Now, I've remedied, remedied that since my last series I attempted to make, but, uh, yeah. So I kind of derped that up a bit. Unfortunately, that makes some things, like cactus, grotesquely hard to find, because cactus doesn't seem to really generate in too many places that are considered... Wow, that is a cave. Uh, that are considered desert-like areas... Uh, basically places where desert temples spawn. But, back on the texture pack thing, I, I've i updated some of the textures for some of the mods, like most of the biomes of plenty textures I've gotten, given them my standard treatment. They're going to look... Th the goal is to make them look similar Ooh. for people who play the mods. But, here's the thing. It's the same as what I feel about the Minecraft default textures of they need to fit in, but the default textures look a little bit too flat. I like the textures of default textures, but they are too flat. Now, there are some mods that I've successfully done. I'm not sure what I think about that, but... Well, eh. Uh, as I was saying, there's, you know mods that I like things about, and I like how they look, and then there's other ones where they got the full treatment of, you know, I think this should look this way. Like, for example, the Iron Chest mod. If you remember from my standard series, and I'm just wandering around trying to look for a decent biome to settle in. I'm not sure what that is. This is, I believe, a Mystic Grove biome volcano. Oh. Oh. Why do you not... What was the biome for there? This is a lush swamp. No? Oh. What was that? Oh. Uh, unfortunately, World Gen is absolutely murdered in this pack because of Underground Biomes and Chocolate Quest. Uh, formerly known as Better Dungeons 2. Unfortunately, those two mods, especially when in conjunction with each other, cause for some really slow world generation. Oh look, liquid poison. Why is that even necessary? So there's going to be plenty of cases where world generation is just going to break down. But I'm trying to find somewhere good to live. And there's a lot of mods in this mod pack. I'm going to be mostly rambling on. Uh, I expect to cut somewhere in in here whenever I actually find somewhere I want to live. I may even cut and go look for somewhere to live. But anyhow, I'll do the standard mining and tree chopping and stuff off camera. Uh... These are going to be my horrible... Oh, pain. Yeah, not as much pain as it could have been. How did I get gunpowder from you if you exploded? Better question, why are things spawning during the day? But, yeah, this is the biome my previous 164 series was in, which I never mentioned why I discontinued that, but, I mean, if you were paying attention to 
some of the things, like, for example, that was when Thermal Expansion had just entered its open beta phase, and I was constantly needing to redo the conduits with every single update. Right there, you can see the effects of uh, world generation lag on my eating. Uh, and then there was my ISP deciding that I needed a bandwidth cap. Now, since then, my ISP has raised that from 200 gigs a month to 250. And my speeds have gone up from 10 uh, megabits down, 2 megabits up, to 15 megabits down, 3 megabits up. It, it's not a lot, but it's something. Unfortunately, I decided to raise the price for $5 without, you know, providing any kind of a warning, but I'm not going to discuss that. I'm already irritated over... I, I'm still irritated over the cap, and we're not even going to express how irritated I am over that. But, that aside, the raising of the cap pretty much ensures that I should be able to get away with uploading a video possibly even every single day, but that might be a bit hopeful. Uh, this is an interesting biome, but I'm not interested in it. What's over here? Dead swamp. No. Temperate rainforest. That will be an important thing to have the location of. Oh, and you'll notice that I have two mini-maps. And one of them's on a weird color display. Uh, the one on the top right is Map Writer. And it doesn't support mobs, and it only partially supports waypoints. Like, it supports its own waypoints, but only to a weird extent. But I didn't want to... I like its overhead map. That's the one that does this. A lot better than the other one. So I have the other one set up for mobs and it provides me a world waypoints. Uh, I don't necessarily want to live there but a village is a good place. Uh, I get lucky. I keep looking at this. I might eventually actually find a chocolate quest dungeon. And if I'm right, and this is a cho uh, not chocolate, uh, if this is the proper biome, I should have ocelots available. Which is good, because I both wish to tame one, and I may do something about their incessant meowing all the time. Uh, and because there's another mod in here that is extremely lazy. And that's the phrase I'm going to use. It's called Advanced Genetics. Oop. Basically what Advanced Genetics does is it allows you to take traits from other creatures and apply them to yourself. Growthcraft! I'm going to be making some uh, sake in this series. You are an apiarist. Yes, you are. You are the Growthcraft guy. Grape wine fermented, huh? Ooh. Oh. Oh, the disappointment. Uh. What was I saying? Oh, this is a Thomcraft tower. I don't care about your Thomcraft, but I care about your glow stand. What was I saying? I don't even remember now. Kinda hoping for. A, ah, uh, this is uh, a little witch's hut, because there's a mod called Witchery, which I also want to play with. Not too big into magic mods, uh, there's Blood Magic, Thomcraft, Witchery, Ars Magica. Actually, I should probably take that apple, shouldn't I? But I'm going to be fine. Shut the door in my face, then. Oh, it's getting night time. I'm endangering the lives of these. Why are you broken, chest? Stone alloy. Waiting boots. These should help me swim faster. 
See right there, some witchery seeds, gishel grains from Choco Craft, piece of bread, rubber sapling, a million and a half books. I'm kind of disappointed this worked like this because I kind of wanted the chest. Oh. And. Wow, I am losing track of what I'm saying. What are you? Just. Just a place? You're just a place. You look like one of the witches from Witchery. But anyhow, I'm going to claim myself some potatoes. Right, I was talking about advanced genetics at one point. Which is, yeah, you know, you can get flying from bats, creepers run away from you from ocelots, so on and so forth. And it, it can be kind of cheaty, because it's basically free flight and everything. But in order to do it in any reliably fast way, hmm, horses, you would need to set up automation. Which is pretty simple, honestly, because there's another mod called Steve's Factory Manager. Which I... I rather like. It is a highly configurable, well, factory managing system. Although it can be used to manage pretty much anything, really. Speaking of Choco Craft, there are some of those over there. Uh... Hmm... I have the waiting boots on. Oh. Hmm. Perhaps the waiting boots don't do what I wish they th they did. Can I use them in anything? Probably not. Now. We're going to leave those off and hope that I don't starve to death in the meantime. Was there any ocelots? I don't know. I wasn't looking at my little radar. There's some um, Tinker's Construct Islands. Ooh, what is that? That looks like hot springs. I see. I uh, kind of want to investigate this. Why is it not telling me? It said before it was a dead swamp. Huh. Strange. Very strange. But uh, here we go. More seeds. These are, as you can see, Jogobos. Not too terribly interested in that mod. I'll probably screw around with it at some point, just because. And this is going to end up being 30 minutes of me walking, trying to find somewhere to live. Oh well. I guess. Whatever happens. Uh... And, as you also n may know, if you've watched my previous series, I tend to be a bit inclined to just kind of swear occasionally. Oh, sewage. Fun. I'm going to try to reduce down on that. Ah, here we go. Beautiful. This is the kind of tree I wanted. And as you can see, the tree is rapidly decaying. That is added by the mod Random Things. The entire goal of the mod is to add Things that are quite random, and frankly, the mod author adds to the mod what things he decides that he needs. Which, some of them are really good things. For example, there is a, uh, I would bring up the thing right now and show you, but I hear bad spider noises. Okay. If we type at random, random... We get pretty much all the things from the random things mod. Differently colored lights, differently colored redstone blocks, block teleporter, viewing station, which I think is required to make these. Uh, however, there is... Not the end reporter. Although, that could be fun. No. Where is it? Player interface. This is made from an ender chest, a nether star, obsidian and a player core, which isn't too bad. And it allows you to directly interface with your inventory, your armor slots, and your hotbar in real time with pipes and tubes anywhere in the world so long as the player interface is still loaded. 
hence why it has an ender chest and nether star in the recipe. That said, it can be paired with other mods, such as logistics pipes being able to link to AE systems and so forth, and you can actually, anywhere in the world, request items from your AE system directly into your inventory. Oh, stop shooting at me, skeleton. You're being rude. I'm probably not going to lose him. I may end up dying in my search for a place to live. I should just venture south. Towards that swamp. Also, if you occasionally hear a noise, it was quite hot, and I opened my window, and I completely forgot to close the window before recording. Go me. Oh. That was a close one, sir. That was a close one. I really like the willow leaves. Or the willow le I like the willow leaves. I like the willow wood and the wood planks and stuff. Because it's great. And then... Well, I'll show you this whenever I find somewhere semi-safe to show you. Uh, ooh. A pit of lava. I could make that work. How big is this? Eh, it's mostly water. I don't really want to screw with that. Hmm. I suppose I'm not even in the swamp yet, but honestly, looking at this map, it's pretty much entirely water. Alright, looking at this map, I don't like most of the biome options. What is that? Oh, I think that's a, uh, Chocolate Quest Dungeon. Hello, Ars Mana Creepers. How are you doing? They aren't going to be much of a threat, so I'm going to leave them alone. See what I mean? They just kind of explode and you just walk away. Oops. Look at that. Is that not just the best thing you've ever seen? Zombie. You're not dangerous. You're just a nuisance. I may be on hard, but that doesn't make you threatening. Pick up that uh, zombie flesh, though. I am going to want that. Random things. I believe I still have it listed in here. Also adds... Okay. Let's go out on the water away from these monsters, then. Random things also adds in this dirt right here called fertilized dirt. Perhaps that is just a bit too small. Unfortunately, it doesn't provide like a scaling thing, so it's either too small or too large. But fertilized dirt, it doesn't require water. This is algae from uh, Engineer's Toolbox that I'm driving through. But uh, the fertilized dirt. It's made with bone meal, rotten flesh, dirt, and it's fertilized soil that doesn't require water, and plants placed on it grow three times as fast. Which, whoa, where did that come from? Which, as I'm sure you can guess, is quite useful. Another small village over there, volcano... Where am I? I'm over there. Oops. Ah, uh, see, that's never been... Nothing's ever been done about that ever in any mod, ever. I'm, of course, speaking about creating a boat, a boat getting destroyed, and it turning into oak wood. Honestly, I don't really think there's a way of doing that unless mods added their own special boats made from each type of wood. And let's be honest, they might have done it with workbenches, but that doesn't mean it's practical. Or does it? 
Hello, Volcano. Are you having fun updating your lava as it comes down the side? Uh, the Volcanoes, they're from Project Red, which, from, if you may be able to think of it, and if I were to show you the thing, it's basically, since Red Power fell off the face of the Earth, it's been an alternative that's been developed. So, there's that. Um, oh, look, more ash stone. Oh, hey. Oil. I can do sort of something with that. Now, where... It, is this seriously the cause of this massive tree on my map? You disappoint me, Great Wood Tree. You disappoint me. Can I make your planks into a boat? The answer is no. You will disappoint me even further. World Gen Lag, I hate you. No, I didn't want you. Please leave. I'll tell you what. I'm going to find somewhere to live. I don't know if I can navigate this. Stop. 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 Oh. I'm going to find a good biome to live in. Why can I not break you? What is going on here? Eh... I'm not going to be able to get through that. I'm going to find a biome that I consider a good biome to live in. And... Oh, I really need to stop now. Stupid rain. So, uh, I'll be back with you guys uh, probably shortly. I'm going to have a look at the time. Uh, so there may or may not be too much time left. Oh, good. More world gen load lag. Uh, and I'll be back with you once I find somewhere to live, and depending on the time, we may or may not stop then. So, see you in just a little bit. I am not having a good time in the middle of the night! And welcome back. There is a bunch of zombies trying to kill me because this is 164. And so zombies are horrible people. Fortunately, it's not nighttime, or it is nighttime, and it's not even remotely close to almost daytime. So, I'm going to forego my little shanty up there. They're beating on my freshly made door. Those zombies are really rude. Just putting that out there. But there's not much I can do about them. Especially considering a lot of the mod armors, especially in the case of that one zombie, the, the baby zombie, is wearing a lapis armor. And therefore my measly wooden sword was no match for his armor. Now, I have managed to survive, and I have managed to find coal, although I think I might be safe for now. Famous last words. You'll see right here, oh, and I've increased the size of the UI. You'll see right here there's a structure. This is a chocolate quest dungeon. And also down here is a sludge pit biome. Uh, it's not saying it now for some reason. There we go. Biome sludge pit. And it's right next to an ominous woods, which ominous woods is great. Uh, because they have a stupidly high Enderman spawn rate. Like to the point that I think Enderman is pretty much the only things that spawn in there. And it's pretty much like perma darkness. I think Enderman can spawn at pretty much any time of day. 
Even if they can't, it still has a retardedly high Enderman spawn rate, which should be a quick, dirty solution to the early game Ender Pearl problem. But I really want to raid the Chocolate Quest dungeon, because in the Resident Rise mod pack, the, uh, well, let's just say the loot tables are extremely generous. Okay, I'm going to need a workbench. This workbench can stay down here for all I care. Actually, I know what I can do with this workbench. And I may or may not regret this in the near future. If I take a stick, a crafting table, I got a pocket crafting table. It can be anywhere in my inventory. And say I sort that, well, I guess it won't fit there now. But if something was in this, I could press X to empty the crafting grid. And I'm going to run out of berries soon. But, as you can see, if I were to close my inventory, like so, I could take my materials, line them up in there, press C to o open pocket crafting, and then there we go. Also, the underground biomes textures are one of the things that I slapped my standard little treatment on, but unfortunately brighter textures like uh, Dacite you can't really tell because they don't accept my modifications well. Uh, oh. It's the same thing as some of the uh, the textures in vanilla, like sand. They just don't accept them very well due to the way I modify them and their brightness. Also, I have no intention of really making too many machines or anything till I successfully attack that place. Oh, things are burning. It must be daytime. Ow! Rude! Okay. Oh, oh, stop fighting with me. Must fight the flow of water. Zombie. Just die, please. Okay. Well, I've managed to acquire minor resources. And I forgot to check the time. However, that is going to be the goal for next time. In between, I'm going to do some things, such as, if you take logs, you can make really crappy armor. Uh, how does it compare to the mud armor? I wonder. Oh. You can make things out of mud. Uh, 32. So wood armor and mud armor should provide the same general protection. Also, I grew a willow tree while I was waiting. It was a really big one, too. So... That, yeah. Uh, there's also witch woods around me, but I don't care about them. Oh, my door's still alive. Uh, before we go anywhere, I wish to show you guys the awesomeness of another really cool mod. With that mod being Carpenter's Toolbox. Carpenter's Toolbox. Carpenter's Blocks. Now... You might look at this and be all like, oh, it's just a door. Wow, that is a really crazy wind coming in from outside. Nice, cool breeze, though. Yes, it may be just a door. But the cool thing about it is, say I take a piece of, you know, whenever it's just in the standard carpenter's door, I can right-click on it with blocks, and I can skin it as pretty much any block I want. And there's... If we look at uh, the carpenter's block stuff, there's the wedge slope, which uh, these other ones are modifications of that. There's stairs, fences, gates, and if I had a piece of, if I had three pieces of iron, I could actually show you one of the nifty features of these doors. But I do not have said thing. 
and therefore I cannot show you. Put that there. But I'm going to get a full suit of wood armor. I'm probably going to make a few more stone swords. In fact, let's just do that now. Plus six, plus five. This is technically better. Ah! Tree! So, I'm going to call this good for this episode. It might be long, it might be short. I forgot to look. But I have a goal for next time. And so, I'm going to call this good. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.